Alright, in this video we take a look at 5 reasons why Cinema 4D is better than Blender. If you are a Blender user, don't get mad. In the next video we take a look at reasons why Blender is better than Cinema 4D. So make sure to subscribe to Mograph Plus channel and ring the bell to get the video as well. But for now here are 5 reasons that make Cinema 4D a better 3D application compared to Blender. Hey folks, welcome to Mograph Plus. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Let's get started. Number 5. X Particles and Third Party Render Engines Obviously both Blender and Cinema 4D are dependent on good plugins or add-ons to do certain tasks. But there is X Particles for Cinema 4D which is probably the biggest plugin in any 3D application. It can do extremely advanced particle simulation in a very very intuitive way. It is capable of dynamic and cloth simulation, fluid, grain, smoke, fire and much more in a unified manner. And it is used to produce really high end motion graphics and VFX within Cinema 4D and simply you won't be able to do any particle work close to X particles in Blender. And there are third party render engines, at the time being you don't have access to Arnold or Redshift within Blender, which are pretty amazing render engines. Even though Blender Cycles is phenomenal, but Arnold and Redshift are just on another level and Maxon, the creator of Cinema 4D, purchased Redshift a few months back and you might get it natively within Cinema 4D in the next release. And Arnold, which is by far my preferred render engine and implemented to the perfection in Cinema 4D, is not available in Blender, which is a shame. And I don't think Autodesk has any plan to create an Arnold version for Blender. Number 4. Cinema 4D has superior object manager layers and take system. We'll be putting these three futures into one point here and even though these futures aren't fancy but extremely important when dealing with production level scenes. If you compare Cinema 4D's object manager to Blender's outliner, even considering all the improvements in Blender 2.8e, object manager in Cinema 4D is just the best in the business. Blender's outliner has become much better recently, but there are some annoying things about it. You cannot box select with click and drag and you have to use a hotkey. If the collections are collapsed, there is no indication to know which collection the currently selected object belongs. No range selection with shift clicking, the drag and drop capabilities within the outliner are limited and can be much better. But Cinema 4D's object manager is just a breeze to work with and better in every which way. And if you even not consider the tagging system within Cinema 4D's object manager which makes your scene very very organized, Cinema 4D still has the upper hand in this area. Now, if we compare layers in Cinema 4D to collections in Blender, which was introduced in Blender 2.80, before that Blender objectively didn't have a layer system. There was something called layers, but it was just an embarrassing travesty. Now, there is collections. You make a collection in the outliner, you add your lights, for example, under that collection in a parent-child kind of relationship, and you call that collection, for example, lights. And that is really like creating a null in Cinema 4D's object manager, putting your lights under it and renaming that null to lights, that's it. There is no dedicated layer system in Blender like in Cinema 4D. In Cinema, in addition to object manager, you can organize your scene within layers as well. For example, if you have a complex car model with a lot of geometry and materials, you can put all the geometry and materials into one layer and manage it that way, which is very useful and that is not available within Blender. And finally, there is Cinema 4D's take system, which is non-existent in Blender, and it is really useful. Take system allows you to store multiple variations of a scene in a single file. You can easily create special render passes for compositing, modify and save almost any Cinema 4D setting in a take. You can have variations for object attributes and animation, lights, cameras, materials, textures, colors, and more. And this is not available within Blender as far as I know. Before moving on, make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. And number 3, Cinema 4D has MoGraph toolset. If you are looking to do any kind of serious motion graphics, Cinema 4D is your best choice. The MoGraph toolset in Cinema 4D is the most intuitive yet comprehensive motion graphic creation tool in the industry. In the latest release of Cinema 4D and the addition of fields to MoGraph, uh, which basically can be considered very very advanced follow-ups to control cloners or instances, creating motion graphics has become even better. 
and with the inclusion of fills which works throughout the entirety of Cinema 4D to control modifiers, selection sets, vertex maps, vertex colors and not only MoGraph, Cinema 4D is trying to unify its toolset and get away from the modular approach. On the other side, Blender can't be compared to Cinema 4D in this regard. It doesn't have any dedicated toolset for motion graphics. There is an add-on for Blender called Animation Nodes, which is a node-based version of MoGraph inside of Blender, which is actually pretty capable and being developed constantly, but Cinema 4D's MoGraph is just way more intuitive and more advanced. Number 2. Cinema 4D has better UI and UX. Blender 2.80 has improved the user interface and user experience quite significantly, with its dark theme and flat and colorful icons, left click select finally, the new implementation of workspaces and much more, but hands down Cinema 4D has exceptionally better UI and UX, not only compared to Blender but to all the other major 3D applications. The way you create, manage and interact with your scenes in Cinema 4D is second to none. The UI is so clean and uncluttered and at the same time accessible. Max on emphasis on user experience is evident throughout the package. Each new feature is implemented extremely carefully to keep the UI and UX at a very high level. For example, in the latest release of Cinema 4D, they introduced node-based materials and fields among other things, and these two new features have been implemented extremely well from both UI and UX standpoints. They look gorgeous, it's really easy to learn them, and they work extremely well. Number 1. Cinema 4D is easier to learn and master. Cinema 4D without any doubts is the easiest 3D application to learn. Everything is intuitive, even if it is your first time opening Cinema 4D, after spending a couple of days within the software, you feel right at home. Learning 3D is not an easy task generally, but if you do it within Cinema 4D, you're gonna feel much better and learn it much faster. I would say if you spend 3-4 to four hours for like 6 months, after that period, you will be a pretty good Cinema 4D artist, and this is just not the case for Blender. Obviously, this is not Blender's fault, Cinema 4D is just easier to learn compared to all the other 3D applications. And definitely, Blender 2.80 makes Blender a much easier to learn and adopt 3D application, but Cinema 4D is just way ahead of the curve. Obviously, if you are a seasoned Blender user, you might not consider being easier to learn a major advantage for Cinema 4D over Blender, but for a beginner who is just trying to learn 3D, the steeper learning curve of Blender might direct him towards Cinema 4D. Do you think there is anything else that makes Cinema 4D better than Blender? Let us know down below in the comment section. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.